Hi everybody, my name is Tiseto Selekwe and you're tuned into a safe space where we have hard conversations on life, love and all things healing. Now, if you have been following us or subscribed to our channel long enough, you know that in, on this channel we speak about healing, transparent conversations on healing. And I'm super excited to bring you guys a new segment on the channel called Purpose in Pain Conversations, where we bring in different people from different back backgrounds that will speak on their grace stories. Now, I'm super excited. I have a special guest with me, and I know very well that you guys are going to be um, um, healed from her conversation um she is i think when i when i bumped into her on on tiktok i i listened to her story and i was just like there's so many women that can be healed from listening to her and i don't want to give away too many things um i know that we can all agree that god has given women a special I don't know, a special um, treat or rather a, a special trait to be uh, strong. Not strong because they are big as Elling, but strong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. But strong because um, he's given us the ability to withstand yeah. and persevere. And I think she's the et epitome of that. Wow, thank um, you. And I mean, before we even go into the, into the conversation, she's like a qualified mechanic. So like she can do all things so she don't need no man <laughs> to don't say that means i need a man <laughs> <laughs> i need a man you know, we all do hint hint <laughs> but i mean i mean like you've you've been given that strength to do beyond you know yeah. um so before i, I chat you guys up i just want to say um welcome thank you um, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so happy that she said yes to my invitation. I wouldn't have said no, actually. <laughs> I, <laughs> I pursued have. you. Like, I, I pursued really? you. Really? Like, I went, I think I went on TikTok. Okay. And I sent you a message and it says that I can't send you a message because you don't follow me. Oh, because it was the old TikTok without you being able to send, like, direct inboxes. Because I know yeah, now that I you can know. send. Yeah, I don't know. I think that, that's, the, that's the reason why. Yes. And then I sent you a message on Instagram. And I'm one. like, and I even I searched you. I'm like, I need to have this woman. <laughs> and I think also being a person who believes so much in God's timing, yes. I'm like, it will happen. It will happen. And then eventually, I think I took another month before I sent you an email because I don't want to be that groupie. <laughs> Where did you get my email? I've been trying to ask. Um, on 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 your my Instagram. Instagram. Oh, yeah, on your Instagram. I said okay. contact, and I think your your email was there. Okay. So then I was like, I. If she doesn't respond to the email, then no. I am Lord, I understand. <laughs> no, <laughs> but you're here. I'm here. And, and I'm so happy to have you here. It's but a pleasure. Before we get into the conversation, please introduce yourself. Um, sure. Where do I start? <laughs> the beginning. There's so many facets of my life. <laughs> the beginning. The beginning. <laughs> right. Um, no, I'm Ayanda Mtetwa. I'm born and bred in Davidson. On the East Rand. Guys, please don't even come for me with that one. Um, but I'm <clears> <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't, please. No, we love everybody here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm from Davidson. Um, I've had beautiful beginnings. Uh, I'm not going to say that I've ever had shorts of. Um, I just had a, a beautiful family that was very really supportive, you know. And um, so I went to school in Crystal Park and I was in, my high school was at Willamore. Went to Boston College, went to tertiary. Um, but just in, within Davidson, so it was a, it was a walking distance. Mm -hmm. And then I worked for BMW. Um, I worked for How Train. <laughs> like I've been around. No, you've been, I've been, been. around. <laughs> I've been around. Um, I was with Mustang Auto at some point. We're trying to buy over that business. Okay. Um, I had my own business of events management. So I used to do decor for weddings, functions, wow. etc. So you're good with your hands. Very good. Yeah, I'm a perfectionist. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't like. So I don't like get I, things if they can do it right. <laughs> let me do it. Thank you. you. Yeah, no, no, I'm a perfectionist. That's a problem. Um, but I was still doing moto and the the event yeah. side, so I was dabbling here and there. Yeah. Um, the thing is with events, I got used to money, mm. so then my studies fell short. Oh. Yes, then I understood business and I I grew. Um, I think business makes you grow faster. Yeah, yeah, mentally. You meet yourself. Right? How do you, and you meet people. Yeah. <laughs> and you meet people. So yeah. I, I grew fast there. Mm -hmm. And then my 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 profession called me back and I went back. And I'm here now, which is a story that we'll have to yeah. unpack slowly. <laughs> Great. I love that. Um before we get into the story, I think for me, every time I have these conversations, I wanna go back to how you grew up. Take okay. me back to your background. Take my background. Me back to sure. 
yeah, who, what made, because I'm, I'm a firm believer that your background um, kind of forms the person that you eventually become. It does. Yeah, so. It does. Bring mm. us back into the Mteta household. The Mteta household, um, I had a very strict father. Okay. Um, very, very strict. Um, then I was staying with my grandmother mm-hmm. and my grandfather um, at David Ton. Okay. Um, very strict household, so you would never do as you please. you know. Um, but for me, more than anything, I think my family has always understood that I'm very different from any other girl out there. I do things very differently. Mm-hmm. I remember there was a time no no girl could argue with me. You know, Mandlala, you have to go back home and then you have to do um, your pega. Yeah. You know, I mean, my pega. And then I didn't want to cook. Mm. I was very defiant on that. I said, oh, come in, I'm yeah. And then she was like, ah, I'm going to go back because man, I'm going to go back one day. I never understood that, you know. And I said, I'm not going to cook. Give me something else. Yeah. My pega, I'm going to go back to something else. Yeah. And then she, f- and then she said, okay, I'm going to go back started and then I started doing this is where my perfection perfections yeah, came in, you yeah. know. And then I was forced to doing gati. So when my friends went to cook, I went to do the garden. Oh. As long as I was not cooking, oh. I was really happy, you know. Yeah. I, I thought for me it was for me to be forced to be submissive. I don't know what I was thinking at that time, but I knew it was not for me. Yeah, just to know? come in there, I don't know, I think it's a conversation I've been having a lot. That yes. We women or girl children have been like kinda in- indoctrinated yes. to be a submissive yes. wife. Like we've been taught from a young age that, that we need if to you submit. don't wash your dishes, your in laws are gonna chase you out. <laughs> You're gonna come back. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. no, I was really defined of that yeah. because I don't want to do I've always went against the norm. Mm. Um that started at an early age. Um it, it used to frustrate my parents as well. Yeah. You know, but I've I come from a highly supportive family. So my family is one of those families that if you're chasing something and you need money, I'm They'll yeah. go and take out loans and say, let's support this child, yeah. you know. Um, my mother doesn't understand my industry. She doesn't want to. She just wants me to be an educator. <laughs> more mistress. <laughs> you know, so no matter how much I bring in, she'll be yeah. like, I can't open your more mistress. And then I'm in. <laughs> All the time. Because it's a profession. It's they, a profession, you know. They were also like kind of forced to do. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, um, um, I'm the eldest. I've got a brother. Okay. Um, he's an architect. Uh, he's doing very well for himself. We fought. We both fought. Is he uh, single? For the people watching? Yes, he's single. <laughs> I'm hooking my sisters up. <laughs> yes, my brother's single. He's a tall, dark, and handsome type of guy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no, he's single. Um, but yeah, so we, we, we fought through because we had supportive parents. Um, we had very diplomatic parents as well. Yeah. So it was never a case of Uguti Yateti Swaintli. Don't tell me. I'm going um, so my parents would literally sit you down and say, you know what, you messed up, so how do you rectify, come with a solution. Okay. So now you become solution-based. Any problem that arises, there's a solution. Um, my parents have always opened up the door to say, you need to come to us before you go anywhere else. That's beautiful. You know, um, it, but more cool, uh, you forget those elements, you forget the teachings of the household because you move away from them. Yeah, and you peer know? pressure. Yeah, and, and peer pressure. No, I never felt pre pressure, but <laughs> I would oh, come well, to like, it. Uh, I mean, society, being socialized yes, by other and and when the, and I think you when we grow, we accumulate a lot of pride. Yeah. Um, to say, True. Uh, yeah, yeah, when, um, I've got a very close relationship with my uncle. Mm-hmm. He's one person that understands me inside and out. He understands what's eight today. Lona, he could I say so more, you know. But um, our family has always been supportive. Yeah. Um, my mother is the. Is a non emotional one. She's yeah. the one to say, Why well, What is the solution to you this say problem? You say you took after her? Sorry? Can you say you took after her? Like, <laughs> yes, and I, I tried to shed off those traits when I came back, but we'll, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. go back to yeah. that, yes. Mm-hmm. But my, my beginnings were very really humble. We're not, I'm not from a wealthy family. Okay. No, no, I'm not. Um, it's just that when as a family you pull in together, mm. anything is possible. Yeah. And they showed me the possibility mm. of that, you know? <laughs> that's beautiful yes. um did you grow up um with your mom and dad in one house no 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 so it was a two-part way so i, I was under my grandparents okay. and then my dad was like no because now she's going into adolescence let her come back home okay then i went back to stay with my parents and yeah. still so, so stay same method my mother has always been with us through 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 yeah um for my mother, I think I was a very difficult child. Looking yeah. back now, because we always reflect. Yeah, yeah. Um, you'd always want to fight your parents. Mm-hmm. Um, but looking back at as the type of person that I was then, I was a very difficult child. Um, I was not understanding much mm-hmm. um, as to where she was coming from. 
and not understanding her as a person and her as a mother. Mm. You know, so I was l- always rebelling against um, the norm. So when they say do this, I don't want to do that. I want to do my my own way. Mm. You no, know, now we are fighting at loggerheads. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and then I came in at home and I said, no, I want to do uh, motor mechanics. They didn't understand that. Yeah, that caused more division within the household. Yeah. So wh- why? Why? Ufuna ani mo do in mind? You know, be a teacher. I can go be a teacher. That is gone. I'm from that is gone because yeah. I already knew from an early age where my path is gonna set me. Yeah. I knew when I was doing grade ten, I knew Guti. I'm I'm not I'm not for the school system at that time, ne? Yeah. And then I, I yo I begged my parents, my cousin, just take me out of school and put me into an FET How college. Old were you then? Um, I was I don't know, fourteen, fifteen, I can't remember. Sure, that's why your mom was fighting. Yeah, no, she was fighting tooth and nail. <laughs> tooth and nail. Because at fighting. fourteen you're thinking as a parent, you're still a child. Yeah, mm. it's at fourteen, fifteen. Um, because yeah, it must be fourteen because I remember when I started working at BMW, I was going to turn fifteen. I was still fourteen. Mm, wow. Yes. Um, so I was begging them to say, you know what, just take me out of the schooling system, take me to a FET college. I already know what I want to do. Yeah. So you, there's no need for us to be frustrating each other here, you know. Yeah. And I was not putting my weight into high school. Mm. I was not putting my weight in the studies there because I was frustrated mm. in school. So they eventually did give in um, after I passed my grade 11. Okay. Yeah? Um, but that time I was already working. I was at BMW. Yeah. But they gave you time. Yeah. <laughs> Time to say, no, think about your choice. I'm like, no, I'm already done. Yeah. So what would happen is that when school closed, mm-hmm. I would go and work at BMW. Oh. And then when school opens, I go back to school. So it was like a vacation A vacation, 100%, thing. you know. And, but I learned a lot from yeah. there. I learned immediately in the first month that I'm not, I'm not destined to work for somebody. Yeah. So it's frustrating for me to follow the rules, yeah. let me put it like that. So I need to drink tea at a certain you're point. Disruptive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's disruptive, you know. I had to drink tea at a certain yeah. point, you know. Yeah. But for me, it did not make sense. It did not resonate with who I am. Yeah. You know. Um, I will never forget the lady, though, because she gave me a chance. Yeah. That was the owner of BMW and at, at that, that time. young age. At that young age. Literally, yeah. I walked up to her because my mom, God. my mom, boy, mm. mod. She was going to service a car. And my mom casually like, hey, that's the owner of um, this yeah. franchise. Yeah. All oh, right. It's okay. Cool. So I'm sussing out because I'm an opportunist. Yeah. Can you just go out for a job? I was just chancing. I was just chancing. I was not even going to look for a job. I was at just 14, at just 14. by the way. I just want to put it out there. <laughs> at 14. Mm-hmm. I go there and she's like, okay. She looks at me. It's like, okay, come. I'm like, what? Wow. Like, come on Monday, then we'll talk. So I get there on Monday. She's like, no, here are your overalls. Um, I just estimated your size. Here are overalls. You can start working. Then they introduced me to the workshop. And then we laid out a few... Rules and regulations. One yeah. time I was coming, you know, induction phase. Yeah. I started working there and I was happy. You won't believe I'm still in contact with this lady, and Val, Val Vankel. I'm still in contact with her till today. I was oh. speaking to her yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't think she'll ever forget you. No, she. Like, <laughs> a 40 year old walking into my dealership and telling me, hey, I think I, I got what you need. Yes. You know? Yeah, That's and then beautiful. the foot, I lost the job because um, she was moving to Cape Town and okay. she was taking the, the branch to Cape Town. My mother said, how will I born? Yeah, no. No, I, I think I was... Now you'd be no, no, it was like three years later now. Okay. Yeah, so three years later. So I, was, I think I was 18 or 17. Okay. My mom was like, no, it's a kum Yeah. Yeah. But so I mean, uh, just sitting, being a parent as well, I understand where your mom was coming That's from. That's what I'm saying. It's only yeah. now that I see that shame, man. She was always there to protect me. How has that influenced your parenting style? Because I know you have a son. Um, I don't parent. I let my child self-parent. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm just yeah. No. Mm. Um I'm, I'm, I'm How does that look like? So what happened is that um I speak to him. We okay. can I don't like what you're doing. Mm. You don't do what you're doing because mm. of one, two, three, four. Mm. Right? So you leave him to decide yes. what to do with what you've told 100%. him with the seed you planted. A hundred percent. And I think it has a uh, a lot to do with how your mom parented you. Hundred because your mom was like kinda enforcing certain ways on you and you didn't like that i didn't like that and yeah but how's that working out for more kids now my kids is so he's highly independent at, at for a 10 year old he's very independent so i don't worry about him even his views i respect his views yeah i listen to his opinions yes as a mother I would come in and say no but i've never to repeated myself you to reprimand mm. if i do rebuke it then it'd be like this i don't you don't do this because I'm she very looks firm. like such a strict mom. Yes, I am a strict mom. Okay. <laughs> no, I am a strict mom. When yeah. I have to enforce something, I am a strict mom. Mm. But I will tell him that I don't like what you're doing. You stop doing it because this is why. 
when you're an adult, then you can decide what. But yeah. for now, I'm gonna decide. Yeah. You know. But I let him. I let him think for himself and explore. Yes, and explore. Yeah. And I, I promise you, I've never had a problem with my child. He knows that six o'clock he needs to close curtains. He knows that he needs to do this. Mm-hmm. He knows exactly what is what. I don't have to continuously repeat myself. Yeah, because you know? I think you know what the danger. You know what the danger is. <laughs> the danger is when you start parenting from a place of I don't want my kids to go through what I've gone through. Oh yes, and then you're literally parenting from a bleeding wound. So, so I like the fact that you found a balance between no, you know not why? being too soft. Yes, and not too hard. Not too hard. And no, the thing is, my my son um is I don't know. He's just a mirror of me. I won't yeah. lie to you. Um, he's very feisty. Okay. He's very stubborn. Mm-hmm. Um, he needs so I understood it quickly that he needs me to make him understand more than anything. Mm-hmm. I don't have to fight him. I need to work with him and make him understand yeah. certain elements. Yeah. Because he's just like me. Yeah. And he's he, he's if he, he says I don't want to do something, I'm not gonna force him. Mm. Like because I remember there was a time you know parents would force you go sleep over somewhere. You know you don't want to. Then you are miserable the whole weekend. Yeah. And then we are quite deal. And now you so I don't want to enforce that. I mean, I didn't. My parents never allowed me to do sleepovers, <laughs> so. I, would, I don't relate. <laughs> no, we used to go to family. family. Okay, yeah, this family. family. Okay, family. No, no, my mom and sleep over zero. No, no they'd no. rather come to us than yeah, not the other way around because yeah, she needs different. to supervise, you know. Mm. But yeah, so it's 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 more of that. My parenting style is really easy. Yeah, um, it's working for me. Please, mm-hmm. again, uh, you know, people like taking things out of context. No, different. No, no, it's working for me, and, and it's, it's working for, for him. And your child. Yes, yeah. um, and my child has um. He's got acute dyslexia. Okay. So reasoning and explaining is a daily thing that we need to do at home. Mm. You know, because um, dyslexia is a, oh, another milestone that we had to cross over yeah. as a parent. You know, yeah. it's not easy because he's got a high IQ. Mm. So his high IQ affected his reading and writing ability. Mm. Now I had to move him and take him to a private school that deals with such cases. Yeah. You understand? Oh. So now everybody has to go through that and try to support the child as best as we can. And the nice thing is that because my family understands support, mm. they support us, my son. And we all came as a collective yeah. to say, okay, this and this is happening with Umtana. I want to support the Okay. Yes. Um, Tam, I mean, we brought Murkiti in. Yeah. In this, <laughs> he was supposed to be at the end. end true. <laughs> but, I mean, you're here. You come from a very supportive family. Yes, I do. Um, we've learned that you're a little bit of a rebel. <laughs> Even at school, trust Even me. Sc- I, I mean, used to sell seats at school, so <laughs> I can imagine. Um, we used to do this thing with like there were people who sell uh, sweets at school, yes, and we'd put them in our on, like inside our sleeves, yes, and then eat our seats like this. That's cool. <laughs> that was too much admin. Not and when sell. they found out who the supplier was, that was a lot. But anyway, I bought everybody out. That's why I knew. That's why. I, that's why when I look back, I'm like, yeah, I've been always been corrupt, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes. then we're moving from you uh, working for yourself. So you were you were independent um, early on at, at a very early stage, early and you're growing, and then you you meet your husband. I mean. Is, it, is there anything that's off the table? <laughs> no, nothing's off the table. Because okay. I want us to get into that. Because, I mean, bearing in mind that we spoke about how, you know, growing up, it was like you were, they were trying to enforce certain ways that a wife is supposed to yes, be. Um, and obviously you didn't conform to that no, to a certain really. extent. Not that you were and not for- watching washing dishes. No, 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 not that you I wasn't were, doing yeah, it. But yes. you just wanted to do it at your own Yes, yeah. and, and uh, yeah, no, no, cooking was a no for me. I yeah, did it. <laughs> no. exactly. So yeah. now you meet your husband. <laughs> yes. Um, How does that happen? Does he come from the same place? Was he working? Is yes. he younger? Is he older? Um, He's older than me, but okay. just by two, three years. Because, I mean, it wouldn't work out with a little one. A little one. Little one wants the man. I don't have money. <laughs> um, my husband, sure. Um, We went to the same high school. Okay. Uh, but by then he was a he was my senior, mm-hmm. so we never really, you know, spoke to each other that yeah. time. So he left. He went for he went to stay in Australia. Okay. And then he came back. Mm-hmm. And then when he came back, we met. We had a, um, a club. We met. Up, and he was excited to see me. Hey, I've been seeing you. Blah blah. So we catch up. Whatever the case is. Um, he inboxes me though the following day. He's like, no man, let's hook up. Yeah. Okay, sure. We exchange numbers going there. Um, we had a beautiful relationship. Um, yes, relationships have ups and downs, and this and this and this. Yes, but our relationship yeah. is beautiful. That's his before marriage now. Yeah. Um, he understood me as a person. Mm-hmm. I understood him as a person. He respected me as a person, yeah. and I respected him. Mm-hmm. Um, he's an engineer, by the way. 
Just had to throw it in there. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> and smart. And no, 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 highly smart. Um, yeah. I think that's one of the things that I fell in love with was his mind. Um, he was a, he's an easygoing guy. Yeah. Um, he's a, you know what? He's a very good guy. I'll, I'll never take that away from him. Yeah. You know, um, easygoing. He understood me that ish. I'm a slow pass. You know, like I wouldn't pay. You know. But I'm here. Yeah, but I'm here, you know. <laughs> um, six months later, we got married. Yeah. There's a house involved. Got a house. We had a beautiful union. I'm not going to lie to you. Our our both parents from each side were so very supportive. Yeah. You know? Um, but came a time. <laughs> came a time yeah. that the person that I was staying with just changed. What what caused things change? You know what caused the change? I'm still trying to figure that out. But when COVID happened, now now we fast track in my life, now. Yeah. So COVID happened, and he's he, at his work. They cut his salary. Okay. I'm not bringing the income that I was used to bringing because of COVID. Now sales are not happening because mm. you guys are not allowed to drive anymore. So we are not going to get the business, you know. Mm -hmm. And um. I think a lot of things, a lot of disrespect comes in the house when you become, when you when you when you lose certain things. You know? Yeah. From who? Um. So from my end, he lost respect for me. Okay. He lost respect for me, and sure, infidelity came in. Okay. From you. Sir. Definitely his side. No, I just need to be clear. <laughs> yeah, you need to be clear. Yeah. So infidelity came in and as mo ma mm -hmm. you try to blanket. Yeah. Yeah, you try to blanket a lot of things that's happening in, in your household. You never speak about the things that are happening in your household because you always want to protect because you know with the moment he's gonna speak about your problems, then your family's not gonna view it or call the same on him. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Um, so disrespect came in, and now I'm trying. This person, I need him at that moment. This person is not with me because. Let's hold it there. Yes. I just want to speak before we forget. Yeah. You speak about how disrespect comes in. Yes. From whose end? From his end. From his end. Yes, disrespecting his end. you. Yes. Um, also, just thinking he was just feeling very inferior because money. But it can't be because now I was I was I had literally lost my income. You understand? So there's okay. Yeah. So, so he still had income. Yes, he had income, Just but not it was what he used to yes, have. like probably okay. maybe like less two thousand. I can't mm. remember, but yeah. Okay. So I it wasn't it. as much as what yep, I'm so losing. So it was now a thing of you don't even bring anything to the table anymore. So okay. it's a power struggle now. Yeah. Yeah, understand. We're supposed to be this power couple, <laughs> and we were a power couple, you yeah, know, because so we made things happen. I yeah. met her. Singing is an hour. Moving us from Range Rover to Gear. <laughs> Don't stop, please. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, so disrespect came in, yeah. and this is the time that I needed him most yeah. because my business is not doing well. Um, and you're not used to not to lacking. Not used to lack. I, would, I don't even know what is lacking, you know. So this person, I remember my my husband. My phone like it's I, but I'm I'm so late, man. We're late. It's nine o'clock. I catch you not ten minutes, five minutes. But I'm getting late. He won't even dispute or alone with me or anything. He say, "I got some problems." I would be lying. I would be lying. But now came a time. I got some news. When came a time, phone like this off. Yeah. We have some girls. Do you understand the frustration that comes in with that? You are so used to doing this for a person. Or getting out of that from a person now you're not getting it. Yeah. Yeah, one. And then um <laughs> and then fast forward, um I remember this day at Tigimi. Control. Okay, so he's saying you're trying to control him. Yes. Okay. And I said, Yo. Was this in an argument? Yes, it was an argument. Yeah. It was a full on fight. Um I mean after so many years, since accumulated ganga in your control. Why can't you want to do your control? Yeah, the same thing that made you pick me is now controlling you. You understand? The, the same thing that made us work well together and yeah. build whatever we have at that time. Your control. Mm. 
So we had an argument and we argued and um unfortunately that was the beginning of the end for for our marriage. Yeah. Um I just cut a lot of things. A lot of things happened within my yeah. marriage. I just don't want to I don't want to disrespect yeah, both no. my families, you know. Also it's not a spear as a smear campaign. Yes, hundred so percent. Yes. Yeah. Um I don't I want to respect his family. Yeah. Um and I re- I want to respect my family yeah. because and him as well. Hundred okay. percent, yes. Um, that's why I always um. I remember that there's a person that said to me, "Why well, is someone referred as your husband?" That's because he is my husband. Mm-hmm. You know, he yeah. was my husband. Yeah. He respects me enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one. No, forget about whatever bad thing that that yeah. happened. But he took care of me for to a certain extent. You're I'll never go back. Please don't even. No, I'll never no, go no, back there. Yeah, yeah, I was married to him. Finished. And he's the father of your child. No, 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 no. He's not oh. the father of my child. Okay, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Um, that's from um. I've got another baby dad in jail, but we'll we'll come into okay, that. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. Sorry and then for the assumption. <laughs> it's okay. It's life. You don't ask. I should have asked. <laughs> but I'm learning. No, you're learning. No, you're learning. No, we don't plan these things. Trust me. Um. So, um. Then, families got involved. Okay. Biggest mistake, because families would always want to protect their own child. Always remember that. Um. I would love you. And just to uh, just to just to figure out where the family then comes in. Do they come in when things are heated or prior when you saw that things are changing? No, it, it was. Remember when I just said that it was fire. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. Now they need to intervene because I've locked the house. Okay. Nobody has access to the house. Mm. Court has granted me the house. I can't stay in the house because my mother says you're not going to stay in that house. Mm. You know, you're not allowing, allowing him to stay in the house. I'm not allowing nobody I in the house. Story on TikTok <laughs> I'm not and allowing like nobody in the house because I am angry. Yeah. I am angry. I am yo. I was. I've never been so angry my whole entire life. And this is when, for the first time, my parents did not know how to deal with me. Yeah. Because, whew, you know, Mabati, I'm not promoting now. I know people are gonna twist this. I'm not saying they go out and kill people. Or I understand. Yeah. I'm saying there's a really thin line between anger and murder. Love and hate. Yes. Love and hate is a very thin line. And you know, infidelity can push you there. It changes you to a point where you it you, you turn against your own self. Exactly. I turned against myself. So now everybody's fighting with me. I'm also fighting back because I can fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, because I'm angry, yeah, you know. No. I'm questioning what matter. At this at this important stage of my life, you yeah. know, I need him to be a support structure. But everybody's fighting me in, in my assets. Assets are nothing. Assets you can always regain. Yeah, you understand. It wasn't about that. It wasn't about that. Mm-hmm. And um, that's why I'm saying, Guti, this is when things go wrong when you include families because now my families will always want to protect their own child. Their own, yeah. They'll always want to make sure that their own child will come out of the woods from this. You know, and I remember crying. A guy, um, my mom, I see him. I do pelel. What does that mean for those who don't? Understand? Oh, sorry, like, is it your end? Okay, is this your end? Yeah, okay. Meaning, you never ever gonna buy another spoon in your life. Is it over? <laughs> no, mama, it's it's I'm pelel lang, mama. You know, I see. We are like, meaning good to you know, you're not gonna come out of this. You know? That day I cried. Yeah. It was the first time that I cried again. And I said, I worked so hard, this and this and this. My, my, my household. I, you all used to love my house. Like, yeah. There's no woman that never, there's no woman that would want to move out of their own household. Yeah. I promise you. You must understand in that household if a woman is like, as in, and also because we build with intention. And um, and yeah. for the long term, yeah, we so never in our mind to say one thing. And even in your dreaming, you're dreaming with this person, and now all of a sudden you need to. You are planning with this person. Undo the dreaming, yeah. Oh, when my mother my mother sat me down, and she said to me, so they had a family meeting, ne? and do you have tissue? Sorry. And then go to a family meeting. She's like to me, you know, then I'm um. My mother, my mother doesn't talk too much. She's a very quiet lady. She said, yes, we let me sing. I listened to everybody. But nobody was fighting for you. Sure. Do you know what that does to you? Do you know what, th- do you know what that does to you emotionally? Because yeah. yeah. then you question yourself. 
Yo, I, 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 I could not take it. And I remember I was sitting this way and my mom was sitting on the side. But nobody was fighting for you. Everybody's fighting about the house. Not for you. Nobody's saying, Guti, let's fix the marriage. Everybody's asking about the house. Oh. And this is a family meeting. This is a family meeting. Sure. And I, my mom was like, and I asked your husband, Guti, what does he want out of life? You know, what does he want coming out of the situation? Because I told you my mom is diplomatic. Yeah. And my husband goes to say, you know what, if I can just go back home and just start living my life again, you know. And you know, who's on everything that he has counted on that list. You were not there. You were not there. Sure. If you were there, I'm sure you're the last on the list. And that questions your self-worth. Exactly. Exactly. And you cried that day. I cried. What madam, I mean, what did I do wrong? You know when you asked Mama can't be nothing wrong. Yes. Sorry, do you think you cried because you were not aware that you were not he wasn't valuing valuing you the way you thought he valued you? No. I was questioning myself, Uguti. What have I done so wrong? Yeah. That I did, that, that I'm receiving the raw end yeah. of everything, you know. Yeah. Everything I've done with pure intentions, every yeah. done I've built with pure intentions. Yeah. But I got the raw deal. Mm. And when I'm the one that's asked to go out of my home that I built, mm. where when people understand which this takes a team. Mm. Yeah. You know? And here I am I'm asking my mom is asking me to come back because I'm not valued. Mm. And that's why I wanted to understand. I said mm. if, if for me, me for it. me that answer mm. would, would be would have released me. But yeah, nobody could answer you. me. Nobody you. could answer me. Good. Where have I failed? As a woman, as a wife, where have I failed? Reminds me of a situation that I was in. Okay. You know, where I felt um with with my husband, I felt that when I, I wanted to go back to him to prove myself that there isn't something wrong with me. So okay. I wanted to undo. Yes. Yeah, so because I was wondering, what is it that I did wrong? Yes. What did I do wrong? How did, uh, why did he did hate I me fail? so much? <laughs> so you start thinking, okay, maybe I should do one, two, three differently. Now you forget and he's everything. Forget yeah. your self-worth. Now you're like, I want to go back now so that I can... At least you have the energy yeah. to go back. I, I didn't want to leave at all. Yeah. You know, I don't want yeah. to I wanted him to leave. Fine. Yeah. But leave me with my house. <laughs> Can you hold on to what I yes, want? Yes, you, you understand. Yeah. Mama, it's not worth it. Come back. Hmm. And I said, After the whole two years, you must understand this is what I'm talking about was for two years. Whatever he was doing, the disrespect, um, everything was in two years. And in, within that two years, there was infidelity of my f- one of my friends in there. So now I need to also deal with the emotions that come the of betrayal the betrayal, you and know, and my friend. And sure. uh, you must understand, Guti, this lady, Aksu Guti, it's a friendship, we have five or whatever years. We grew together. Yeah. We grew up together. Literally, probably like in the next block from my house, not even far, mm. we grew up together. Mm. And then you find this person, Guti, she's busy with your husband. It messes up with you. Sure. It messes up with you. Although we had grown apart mm. because they're cooler, you know. But the the, the, the thing is, that it, the friendship was there. The loyalty you'd expect to any knew. other or. She knew. She knew. Husband. She knew. That's the thing. She knew. Mm. You know, so I had to deal with that. Mm. So I'm dealing with the, the closing of the company. I'm dealing with um, my husband. I'm dealing with my friend. Mm. You understand? Now, in all these things that are happening, you start seeking ways, ne? Would mm. ish, Mara, you've got a gray area. Yeah. This gray area is causing you to lose everything, ne? Um, remember I said Mastala, Guti, I've always been set apart. Yeah. I've always been apart. I've no, I've known that from day one. Yeah. My parents knew from day one. Mm. So people classify it as a gift, mm. ne? No, you've got a gift. That's why the child is acting like this. Blah blah blah. My mother said no from onset. Yeah. Said she doesn't understand. So this was this. something that was said before, before. like to us before, okay. before, before all these troubles happening. Yeah, you know? and we've always, I've always had troubles. Mind you, it's just that these ones are, are important in my life because they pivoted where I'm gonna, where I'm, mm. they shaped my future. Yeah, it like that. Yeah. So, um, like no, that's why, you know, you know, do you have, do you have situations where 
you'd find something you say I la um, I've won yeah. and then it gets taken away from you the, the, in the point of a breakthrough and then yeah. it gets taken away yeah. so I was one of those people mm. I'd close huge deals but at the brink of that success it gets snatched away yeah. you I was, never see the blessing through I've never seen any blessing through mm. you know any any business acquisition that I needed to do or anything that I need to buy over at the brink you know when they say tomorrow looks like something's going to happen mm. I promise you you know so I've always been that person. Yeah, I know that very well. <laughs> I'm sure, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. So mm-hmm. now, now you're starting to go back. To, Shh, what country does this come in? Yeah. Le? No, then you go seek consultations. Yeah. So now you go consult, you know, and go consult. You go now in agreement with this person. Like that's no, this and this and this and this and this. So, but your spirit does not agree. Yeah. You know, if you can learn to listen to our intuition, mm. it would be a bliss on this earth. Yeah. You know? But your spirit does not agree. So desperation took you there. Desperation. But your, your spirit was not agreeing with the decision to be there. Yes, 100%. And you go. Mm. Like you go. Yeah. Because if I'm going to come to you, not for two, min- two months, and then I regress again. I l- whatever I've acquired, or I've accumulated, mm. I say, I go, mm. I go back. I get it. Okay. So you must go for a fix. <laughs> you must go back for the fix. Because you know? however, uh, way you receive something, you must maintain it the same way. Yeah. Did I know that? No, I did not know that. <laughs> we all don't until we face it. <laughs> you know? Mm. And then you go to the next one, to the next one. You know, this thing becomes so addictive to a place, Guti. You can't, then you, you go to a point where this is a danger now. Mm. And among us, when you're not afraid anymore, you're willing now to go at higher heights, at bigger stakes. Mm. You understand? So they're going to say, don't forget, let it color like, like drugs. You start yeah. small with weed, then it's your normal whatever. Then you, can live you, you keep on, you know, increasing. And that's what happened to me. You keep on increasing and increasing and increasing. And then you end up in the wrong platform. You understand? So imagine all these soul ties that I've created with these people that I came into agreement with. Mm. Please, let's not take that away. Yeah. I came into yeah. agreement because you I was really, channel. I opened that portal yeah. to say, I ain't doing this, I'm doing yeah. this. You know? And then finally I said, you know what? Let me not run away from this gift thing. Let me just mm. do it. Yeah, because they've been telling me. And you're not born again then. No, 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 no. If you want to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Okay. This is a way to um so I was going to church as well. But the spirit the spirit is very amazing, you know? Yeah. yeah but I was going there. Fine enough, manya gumapostol, I'd be yeah content, you know. But me and upman my bonga bonga be right. So then I, I, I focus on the church got cool. Mm. I was happy, happy. But again, you get that stagnation and yeah. the, the brink of success been taken away, you know? Mm. And I'm like, oh okay, as in let me just do this. Let me just finish this nonsense, ne? And then I'm showing Zuba Sharp after that. Let me tell you, things that didn't, we didn't talk about my timeline properly, ne? Yeah. So when I started um, practicing, okay. um, my husband was still there. Okay, so you, just to bring us back. Yes, let's go back. You are, this is after the meetings, or is it before No, this is before. Meetings? That's what I'm saying. We took, we took my, my stories like they meshed uh-huh. up. Yeah. So, okay. so no, no. Um, when I went, yeah. ne? I was within my marriage. Okay. Right? And then he was before very supportive. COVID. Yes, before COVID. He was very supportive, shame. Um, of whatever it is. Um this is when I took that and I started working that everything shifted. Mm. And then this is when I started losing the business. I was going through a divorce, we were fighting in Lini, my family's ayalwa, Napa there's a friend. Even my son was um classified at that time as um but in a remedial case. Mm. Like there was a lot going on. After accepting the call. Yes. There was a lot going on. Mm. And then they tell you good to know um you need to suffer first, then you, things will become okay, you know? But then I go back, look over it's matter I man. How can I lose Something in Pilisayo. How can I lose a whole company? It doesn't make sense for me, you know, because you must understand, I'm not the only one 
that's benefiting from the company. There's families yes, benefiting. Mm-hmm. You understand? Things got worse, and then I said, "Okay, so it's my 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 when you wake up, you've lost everything mm. that you've worked so hard before. Like you've worked tooth and nail for the time that you don't e- business, you don't sleep. Yeah, I don't get why people want to go into business. Business is a calling on its yeah. own, you know. Definitely. And I lost everything. I went. I started drinking. Mm. Not just once, manchalele, because I want to celebrate. No, no, no. I started drinking every waking day of my life. Mm. You know. Um, because when I'm looking at my pictures mm-hmm. and the person that I've become, two different people. Mm-hmm. And I said, no, man, this is not me, you know? I drink, 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 sleep. now I'm, it's a look shin. You're trying to numb. Yes. Everything it's not even want. working, trust me, mm-hmm. because everything is haunting me now. And I imagine you are with coming... With a hangover. With a hangover. And now you're coming, you want me to consult, and I'm, I don't want to consult because my yeah. spirit is disagreeing with it. Yeah, I understand and I won't lie to you. People are people that have tr- helped through healing. They healed. Yeah. Um. But right. But my inner being was not at peace. So you were helping everybody else. But, but my my were... I'm falling apart. Um. You know you must understand. Guti, when you come into agreement with things, I don't explain guti, what are you coming into agreement with. Yeah. And, and then so when I, I came into agreement. You like, you lose everything and you lose yourself. Yourself, yourself gets taken. Simple as that. And this is what my debate was it's on a about. The sacrifice that you had to make. I, I sacrificed. Simple as that. I sacrificed. Yeah. My my being was sacrificed. Yeah. And for me, it did not make sense. I said, "This is not me." Yeah. You know. And I remember this one night I came in. When does it just happen, Ponje? You know. And then when I entered um, the house, I saw my son. It was three o'clock. Flip and drunk. I saw my son sleeping. I cried. I cried and I said, this is the first time now in my whole entire life that I'm calling on to God. You know we pray. One, two, three, four, five. As though God is something that's far. Yes, as if God is something that's far. We just yeah. pray because of the sake of praying because they they taught you good mountain as a, you know? But this is my first time now really calling to God. I promise you, because I was drunk. Yeah. And then I fell down and I cried. I said, this, this that I'm li- living, it's not me. Yeah. Please make a plan. Yeah. And the most important is, I need you now in my life. I don't need anything else. Because what I am now is not me. I cried the whole night. I cried and I Right. And I was always the only thing I was asking, I said, God find me. That's all I was asking. God just find me. Yeah, but because I knew what I'm gone. I knew at that time that I'm gone. I knew what Angie, the spirit, the soul is no longer with me. It's separated from my body. I knew, you know. Uh, and then I could you not four days later and all the acquaintance of mine being from the high school now. Yeah. Calls me Andrew Sharp and teach him like Sharp. No, 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 no. You can't be telling me that because now you've always been a flourishing person when I'm from high school. Like, we've always been watching you. You understand? Yet I know. This is why it's troubling me right now. Yeah. I'm reduced to nothing. The being reducing a corner, being a hundred rand. You understand? And then she says, no, no, let's go pray. You know? Yeah. Why can't I communicate with my God directly? Not knowing what Sunkuru was reading me at the pathway. Yeah, that was him coming to your rescue. You know? Mm-hmm. And my friend is like, Asaha, I mean, you know, you can call it. I wonder, like, I've got these excuses. But when I'm sitting alone, I'm like, but what, what, what do I have to lose? I've lost everything. Yeah. Nothing else that I, like, have to lose. And then you go for scripture reading. And that was the change of my life. Yeah. Accepting God. Understanding his word. That's what I'm saying. We'd always pray. But we're not connecting with God. Yeah. I connected with God. And God is within me every single day. Yeah. 
And I, I remember I always bargain with God. I mean, I'm, I'm that person. I say, Nkulunkulam, I'm in debt now. Mm. I had over two million of debt. I said, I'm in debt. Please, let's find a job. What I'm doing now, I never planned for in my whole entire life. Yeah. You know? This white guy calls me and says, um, come and work. And I said, okay. I went to work. And then you know what happened? This guy is selling me his company now. Wow. That's God. Wow. Because all I wanted was God. And I said, God, if I can get my company back, yeah. I'll be happy. But God gave me something even better. Bigger, Bigger and better. <laughs> and Bigger he, and better. I like that because it was, it's as though God was bringing yourself back to you. Because that was you. That's me. But now, what's on my mind now is that when they told you, Ruti, you must go to Yes. Ma'am. Was there a promise of things getting better? Yes, 100%. And when you go back to your gobela and say, Is my things are falling apart, what do they say? They say, no, you need to go through this. You need to go, because now when you go through problems, you must understand when you go through problems, you become stronger. Yeah. Excuse me, then you get become better. But it never got better, it only got worse. That was yeah. my problem. And other people were benefiting from the struggles. That exactly. You Everybody was benefiting from my struggles. Yeah. From my sacrifice. From me sacrificing myself, yeah. they benefited. I was In not benefiting. your relationship with God now? God, mm. God, mm. like, yeah. No, no, um, I'll never, ever regress anywhere else. Yeah. Because God really showed up and he showed off. He shot, and uh, you know when you always always speak about the undiluted un- God. Yeah. When you see God only, God will come and show up. So, do you believe in Christ? Of course, I do. No, I need to. I need to of like. Of course, the Lord Jesus Christ. No, you have no, 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 city. I have to. No, 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 no. I have to ask no, because no, no, we no. all say God. N- and yes, then because it's not. You know, I get what yeah, you say. Yeah, because at I, least I cause stand then, fully. Yeah, because there's understand. different gods. Yeah, I need yes. to understand when. No, no, no. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe okay. that He and died And how was the transition? Because, I mean, for me, it would have been easy because, I mean, not that I was born, born again, but I was yes. born again before the big trials in my life, you know? Okay, okay. So you know, you've always been you, under Christ. Yeah. Yes. Like, I mean, since grade 10. No, no, 100%. Know? We all grew so, under Christ. Yeah. I yeah. did too. But yeah, we, 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 that's why I said to you, as soon as you move away from home yeah. and the teachings of home, then yeah. you decide to do what you think I is get right. You. So I want you to take me quickly into the transition of knowing the, because the spiritual realm is very active. People don't understand that. And you now tapped into a spiritual realm that's kind of, not kind of, that is like separate from the gospel of Christ. It is. And How was the transition? How was the transition? Transitioning from that, from another kingdom to another kingdom. Yeah. No, sweet, I had lost any, everything. Yeah. I did not battle one. I yeah. did not battle. Yeah. I said, you know, we do things out of ignorance yeah. and not understanding. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, let me tell you something. These things you 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 can never explain to another person who hasn't yeah. gone through it. Yeah. You can never. That person will 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 stand by whatever they believe in, and yeah. it's okay. And it's it's fine. It's okay. We we'll respect that. But yeah. what I'm saying is that the only thing that came through for me was mm-hmm. the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what I'm saying. The kingdom of God for me shifted me. Yeah. God really parted mountains for me. Yeah. You know, just which lumdana can be right. You know, God had to fetch me from another kingdom to say, I'll go with you because you're dying, you know, and I was saved. Yeah. Honestly, I would, I, 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 I even boast about this, that no, 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 I was saved. God pursued. No, like God, God heard me. That's yeah. the thing. God heard me when I said, God, you know, yeah. I, I was begging God. Yeah. You know, this is when I said to you, Guti, that moment I felt that I was connecting. Yeah. That was as you're thinking of connecting. You're not connecting. Yeah. You're not. God. God is peace. Yeah. I promise you. I don't. It's not that I don't have problems now. I do have problems, but I just say, God, hey, not there. Want to put my yeah. You know, I don't. Yeah. I don't stress anymore. Yeah. I used to have a lot of anxiety, a lot of overthinking, sleepless nights. I would not sleep. Again. I had yeah. the worst insomnia on earth because of my problems. Yeah. But once I gave myself to Christ, oh, sweetie pie, yeah. when I go into the blankets, I die. Yeah. <laughs> I even battle to wake up to go and pray, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's how peaceful it is. And just quickly wrapping up quickly, I just wanted to know that going through whatever you're going through, mm-hmm. we went through, and I believe that um, you do have a calling for healing. Yes, I do. And, and I, just, I still do heal, by the yeah. way, just to put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. What would you say, how would you say your journey um, ties into your purpose now? The pain that you've gone through, how does it tie into the purpose that you are walking in right now? My pain is assisting a lot of people not yeah. to go through what they need. They don't have to go through. Yeah. You know, and you're right. 
that I am a healer. Yeah. I'm a sower, I plant and I heal. Yeah. That's me. And I do it I I do it even not charging a cent. Yeah. You know, because the kingdom of God is free of charge. Mm. People need to understand that. Mm. It's free to access. He's just there waiting for us, yeah. you know. So my purpose and my pain that I went through was for this purpose. Yeah. To create healing. Okay. Nothing else. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I wish we had more time to I go wish into to. this. Maybe we should have again. I think we should and dive into this. Yes. But thank you so much for taking your time no to problem. share your great story with us. And yes. I know that a lot of people who are seeking um, spiritual, um, I don't know, a surety will also find um, and alignment. healing and alignment, mm-hmm. healing in your story. Thank you so much. And may God I enlarge you. That. May you heal more people and may he see you through in your journey. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ayandam Teta, thank, thank you, you so much for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe. We'll be giving you more conversations like this. Bye.